welcome to the Fingerville Five. It is so good to see you. This is Nick. We are glad that he is here. He's a part of our Fingerville Five group. We do love him, appreciate him. He's been a blessing to us. And uh, we know that he is going to Liberty. He's doing Liberty online. He has a desire to serve the Lord in his life in the future. And so we just want to be a help strengthen to him. And so he's got our devotion today. Hope you'll pray for him. We do appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, uh, first off, I'd like to say thank you all for giving me a chance and giving me the ability to be here. Uh, uh, I know as, as we go through the week, it's going to be hard for uh, some people. And, we, and even as being a human, that we always continue to go through things and challenges throughout the weekend. We struggle to go through and go through storms and go through uh, hardships. Um, when going through these things, I just uh, I just wanted to encourage everyone and let everyone know that you know even though we have these storms, and even though we have these uh, hard times, we have uh, we do have someone by our side no matter what, and we still have the ability to have some kind of per, uh, person in our life to watch over us and to give us the ability to. Uh, speak to us. Psalms 46 1 says, God is our refuge, He is our strength. And uh, through His presence, all troubles will be taking place. Um, through this, you know, if, anytime you have uh, your your problems or your uh, struggles, there is something that has uh, a time and that there is strength coming through each one of us, and no matter what, that is through, our, uh, through Him. Uh, Matthew nine twenty six says that with man it, any uh, it is impossible, and but through him all is all is strengthened through him. Uh, and with that, you know, we we a lot of times we declare our, ourselves and put it in other people's hands and expect them to be the ones to uh, push and to make things uh, uh, better for us. But in, within God's hands, uh, all things are possible, and all things is uh, righteous through Him. You know, and even knowing that, you know, on Monday is Valentine's Day, I just want everyone to uh, recognize that even if you don't feel loved, even if you don't feel uh, in a hard time, a hard place, uh, there is someone that does share love with y'all and that is, does share the love and kindness with y'all. As, as he says in John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Um, you know, just seeing that and is a uh, heartbreaking and is a heartwarming and heart uh, touching situation in itself uh, to be uh, where we're at today. Uh, you know, even when you see that, you know, uh, that's our goal is as humans, as a goal as a follower of Christ is to to push ourselves to do better and to push ourselves to gain a redemption through through that um, through that process and. In 1 Corinthians 16, 14, he says, do everything with love. You know, we all have struggles sometimes to see the things that we do not um, realize and see the things that we struggle most and to uh, find the things that are hard in life at most. And uh, I feel that the best way to do that is to do it in love. And and he tells us in Scripture, just as I told you in 1 Corinthians 16, 14, to do it all in love. So I just encourage y'all as y'all uh, go out throughout the rest of the week, the, throughout the rest of the uh, the year, as the year started off and throughout this time, I just encourage y'all to love one another and to love each and every one that is uh, in the same relations, no matter what it is. Thank y'all. <laughs> 